of the weather. One day it'll be sunny, the next day it'll be cloudy. One day it'll be snowing, the next day it'll be raining. So today is a beautiful bluebird day. It's about 45 degrees outside and I figured, you know what? I know of a spot pretty close to the home that I drive past every day for work where I see mallards and common golden eyes all confined to this one little area. And I figured I would take the kayak out and go see if we can get some cool captures with those waterfowl. Now the problem is, is that it's been f above 40 degrees and even warmer up into the 50s for the last week and all of the ice has melted off and those birds now have been dispersed from the area. They no longer need to stick around to this one confined section of the pond slash little channel river connection. So I'm a little bit, uh, I guess, worried that I'm gonna go home empty handed, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. It's a beautiful Friday evening and I've got nothing to complain about. Well, the good news is, is that there are a group of mallards looks to be just right off the boat launch here so i'm gonna get this unloaded as quickly and quietly as i can and go see if we can catch up with those guys I'm not really sure if any of you care, but I am using the Native Watercraft Ultimate 12 kayak. I got this one because it's got a pretty cool open, open canoe style uh, to it that's easy to just throw all your gear in and get on your way without having to, you know, tuck it away into a kind of a closed cabin. So it's been good for me. Uh, there's a few other models on the market, like the, Sol the Old Town Solo Discovery 110, I think it's called, that's actually you know a canoe or a single person canoe it's kind of had my eye so this one i'm going to certainly keep it around for this spring and into the summer but i have had my eye on that so if you have a canoe or a kayak that you do photography from especially the waterfall photography please let me know down in the comments which one you're using and how you like it Well, from the looks of it, those ducks have kind of left the area of the launch, not surprised, but I might go check out briefly a little island out on this pond where in the springtime, I saw a male and female common loon making their nest and building their nest. And I was able to get some really cool video and photos of that early process. I never quite got back out to get any of the chicks, uh, the offspring, later on in the summertime but this summer will be different because i live closer to this spot and and i know that they're here so i will definitely be keeping an eye on this spot It's been very tricky to try to film myself vlogging as well as paddle. The little river channel that I'm in right now connects two, two of the pond systems and the current has been ripping backwards. So I'm going against the current right now and I'm slowly getting pushed back towards the boat launch. So I'm actually going to put the vlog lens away and I'm going to throw in the 200 to 600 because I I think I hear a red-winged blackbird off in the tree right now, and I'm gonna keep my eye out as the sun gets better for any of those waterfowl that I saw earlier. I was just shooting some drone shots and all of a sudden I looked behind me, didn't hear anything and saw a beaver. Grabbed my 200 to 600 and right as I loaded up, slapped its tail down and went under. So what I've done is I've just settled myself off the river and just along the bank here to hopefully see if I can spot it again. Again, the current's been really difficult to try to manipulate your way around. So I'm just gonna kind of hang out 
probably got like another 30, 40 minutes of sunlight. So if I'm not seeing any birds, I might just focus on this beaver and see if we can capture anything. All right, so I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes. I've had to put on my gloves. It's starting to get uh, a little bit chilly, but I believe it was a hooded merganser flew right above my head and landed right off maybe 200 yards away from me downriver back towards the boat launch. And it then quickly started to fly away, but I don't think that it flew out of the area. So I'm debating whether I want to move downriver towards the boat launch or stay at this, at this spot and see if we can get the beaver to come back out because I, mean, I know it's here, but we might have better luck with that hooded merganser. I just don't want to spook it if I go down there. And we're running out of light. I was just nestled up against the other riverbed, but I paddled over to the other side because I did see a bunch of beaver activity gnawing away at some of these trees, and I'm wondering. I don't think that I vlogged uh, me crossing over the river there, but I was hanging out on one side of the river for about half an hour and then just noticed on the cross to the other side, to the other river bank, that there was some beaver activity cutting down some trees on the sides there. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go over there, check it out, and that's what I did. And about five minutes later, I heard the tail slap and that beaver just checking me out. It probably didn't like that I was right there. Uh, but I was able to capture some really cool video of beaver uh, crossing into kind of the glow on the water from the sunset. So that was an awesome, awesome little capture. I think what I'm going to do is just come out here tomorrow. I would consider this a successful evening though. Um, my hands are starting to get cold, so I'm going to head back home uh, and we'll see you tomorrow.
good morning everyone. I have the unfortunate news this morning that my Sony 200 to 600 has officially broken on me. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video of what's not in my camera bag for wildlife photography, I did explain this a little bit, but I'll explain it here again. A few months ago, my girlfriend and I were out at Moosehead Lake in the northern Maine region, went up a mountain, hiked a beautiful trail, and as we were coming down, I slipped on a very wet route and went right on my butt, landed with this thing right on top of the root itself, dented the zoom ring, and over the course of the following months, the nodes that connect to the camera body started to kind of glitch out on the, the aperture would shut out, so there must have been some type of connection error going on. And last night when I was shooting the, the beaver shots, I noticed that as I was filming, the, it would keep jumping in and out, in and out, and I'll overlay what was happening uh, on this screen right now. And this is something that I've been living with for the last couple months, but it got exponentially worse at this point. So unfortunately, I did have to come home and uh, test it out this morning and then realize that it was indeed broken. I don't deem this to be even usable. So I purchased a new one. That'll be coming earlier next week. Now the plans for this one, if you're out there and you know how to fix lenses, uh, let me know if you're interested in purchasing this one for a fair price. You can certainly reach out uh, in the comments below or you can DM me on Instagram and the Instagram handle is down in the comment section. So yeah, I was hoping to elongate the amount of time before I had to purchase the new lens itself, but if you don't have a working telephoto lens, you really can't do wildlife photography, so that's a little bit of the bummer. I did come home with two images from that trip to the Moosehead Lake region, uh, so I'll always have those to remember that fall by. With all that said, yeah, this vlog was really meant to just enjoy some of the nice weather that we've been have, having in early March. I know that we'll, we're due for another snowstorm at some point between now and uh, late April, so Wanted to get out there with my kayak and, and stretch the kayak muscles, so to speak. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to this channel. And I also uh, just reached a thousand subscribers on this channel. And if you haven't heard yet, I will be doing a free photo print giveaway. That will be my next video that I post on this channel. So be sure to subscribe to not miss that. But for now, thank you again for watching and I will see you again very soon.